Welcome to In The Studio. Today's episode is about the 14th annual UC David Film Festival. I'm your host, Edwin Edebury, the Chief Happiness Officer. It is a pleasure to have with me this evening some fantastic filmmakers. And I start to my right, David Nessos. Davis is a fourth year cinema and techno cultural study major and student producer of the 14th annual UC Davis Film Festival. He has produced and directed dozens of short independent films. His work, The Cave, was awarded Best in Show at last year's film festival. Davis artistic background working as a professional illustrator and moral artist has helped shape his creativity and flair to produce. Now, Anna Ho, assistant producer. Anna is a recent graduate from the University of California, Davis, with her degrees in film study and American study. She is currently serving as the assistant producer of the UC David Film Festival and is passionate about sharing people's story through films. Anna is directing a new documentary with Jo Hong, Undocumented Immigrant Right Activist. JoHong.com will provide you with more information and plans to begin production in May. Also, Andre Casho. Andre Casho is assistant producer of the UC Davis Film Festival is an inspiring video artist from Merced, California. He is currently attending UC Davis with a double major in technocultural studies and film. During his stay in Davis, he seeks to collaborate with other filmmakers and watch the local community grow. Beside his endless list of directors, Andre finds inspiration from glitch music, video production act, and trippy comic books. His favorite pizza topping are pineapple and Canadian bacon. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yes, we're going to listen to a very short promo about the UC Davis Film Festival to kind of set the stage for what you should be expecting in the, in the rest of the show. <laughs> Now, the short promo you just saw was put together by our assistant producer, Andre, and that's beautiful. Thank you. Now, I want to start with David Nesso, and you are the historian. You are the one that can tell us all the stuff we need to know about the UC Davis Film Festival. So would you mind sharing some of that with us? Sure, sure. Um, the UC Davis Film Festival was started 14 years ago, so in the year 2000. Two students approached the faculty, and I think it was the theater and dance faculty, and they wanted to put together some kind of a film festival where they could create work and then submit it and watch it somewhere on a big screen. So it started out at Wright Hall, which is a building on campus at UC Davis, yes. and it would be, I think, one day. And now it's kind of expanded, and it's moved to the Varsity Theater downtown. And instead of one day, it's two days. and it's grown from having eight or nine films to almost 23 films split between the two nights. But it's, it's really a, a great chance for students to um, produce some work that's you know, seen by the community and other filmmakers at UC Davis. Wow, that is awesome. So if I understand correctly, a very humble beginning, two students, and now it's a full-fledged uh, production. Yeah. Awesome. So, you know, what about student entering? And we're going to talk about some of those requirements later on. But it's open to all, is it art major, or is it studio major? Who are those who can submit your films? Any major can submit a film. So it's, it's really interesting, you know, when certain majors submit films. Um, so it's open to the entire university. So you never know what you yeah. expect. 
You never know what to expect. That is awesome. I mean, Before I come to you though, let's go to Adrian. I want to hear about some of the technical stuff. Okay. You know, people get scared, you know, this is <laughs> making, you know, what do you expect? Right. Well, to ease them in, we have some workshops that we're, we just currently had our first one today. Um, these are just simple workshops about basic filmmaking. And then we're going to have other ones just about how to submit and how to make sure they follow the guidelines within the film, film festival. Okay. Now we're going to be providing some information later on on how people can find out more about this. Mm -hmm. But those will be a very helpful process in terms of those who want to submit quality stuff or timely stuff, mm -hmm. just you know, attending some of those workshops that you have scheduled. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. And then uh, Anna. Anna. <laughs> You know, you are the community lady. <laughs> you know, in addition to your background, you're also the executive producer for the yes. Aggie TV. Yes. So Aggie tell TV. us about the Aggie TV a little bit, mm -hmm. and then let's go into how you connect everything to the community. Sure, yeah. Um, I'm the executive producer of Aggie TV, as you mentioned. It's the student-run production studio on campus. Um, we have about 40 to 50 volunteers and also 10 executive board members, and we really um, make videos, um, go out and film. We encourage filmmakers to um, also participate in the film festival too. We have a growing partnership basically. And this year was the first time that we actually collaborated with the UC Davis Film Festival to host the Party with the Dirt Feeling, which was in last March. Um, and it was a really successful community event. We invited the local um, band, par uh, the Dirt Feeling, and their amazing musicians um, really loved them. And they were able to come and t a host at the International House in downtown Davis. Yes. And we were able to um, just have a party with our community and our friends, invite people to come out and just enjoy some night of music while we um, kind of share more details about the film festival. So we were trying to get the word out there that you know filmmakers are available in Davis and there is a great opportunity for filmmakers to submit their work into the film festival. That is awesome, awesome. Yeah, and, uh, and also too, there was a, 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 a movie night yeah. that you guys hosted. Yes, and yeah. And I saw a clip of that was very successful. Right. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so Aggie TV kind of um, just covered the event that was on YouTube, but the UC Davis Film Festival was um, hosted a movie night with the previous filmmaking submissions so the filmmakers could get a more idea of a sense of what the film festival is like, right. what kind of films are submitted, what are the genres, what are the students submitting these days, basically. Um, and this was a great opportunity um, to invite the filmmakers and also their friends. Um, just have a night. Um, we had our sponsor, um, Chipotle, um, give us some burritos, and we were able to just have a night of uh, fun, uh, watch movies, and just kind of enjoy what's going on. That is awesome. All right. Now, what I, want, I want to go back to you, David, because uh, when this first started, was there a movie night part of it? I think the movie night began five years ago or so. Okay. Because five years ago was when the film festival s sort of adopted a student club to have a, a, a main student producer and then assistant producers to work together to raise money okay. and then bring the community in to help produce the film festival at the varsity. So ever since then, we've been showing movies from the past years. Yes. And just like Anna said, it's a good way for students to see what, what kind of work is being produced at UC Davis and you know, what they're up against or what they can go watch. Right. And it's always a good thing too because yes, you want to be creative, you want to be independent, but it's also good to see what you are up against, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and then you know, it may say, hey, okay, I'm cool, I'm gonna continue on what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, 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 maybe I need to go do some readjustment, right? That is awesome. So going back to technical stuff a little bit, I was looking at the, you know, I went to the site and just kind of get familiar with things. I saw Filmmaking 101. Mm -hmm. Now, the, you know, some of the things were pretty straightforward. Just shoot the damn thing, you know? <laughs> and I think that's cool. You know, you want to be creative. You want to just let go, you know? Mm -hmm. And the other one, don't give up. You know, people tend to give up on their dream, and we don't want that. But the part that threw me off is never forget the 180 rule. Mm -hmm. What is that? The 180 rule is the rule, uh, say if we're having a conversation right now, we're making a line between us. Yes. 
um, that is the 180, 180 degree line. Uh, so in basic filmmaking, or like, um, I guess it was convenient, what is the word? Not convenient filmmaking, but anyway, um, filmmaking, uh, you want to have, you want to stay, keep the cameras on one side of the 180 degree line. So how these cameras are facing now is that they're both on this side of how we're talking. Yeah. There's no camera on this side. Otherwise, um, if you're cutting back and forth between shots of us talking, we could, we'd both be facing the same angle, like we'd both be facing left, and it would be look, it would look really confusing later on. Got you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Now I'm ready to go do, no, I'm not ready <laughs> yet. Okay, have fun and experiment. I love that part, mm -hmm. okay? Because when it's all said and done, even the big movie people, those who have sense of humor, who can let loose, you know, they never know what the end result will be. Especially at this level, you want to really enjoy what you do. So that makes sense. The number five, though, is say remember the rule of the of thirds. Mm -hmm. What is that? The rule of thirds is uh, if you were to uh, split the screen into three segments, three equal uh, three equal boxes. Um, that's kind of like the lines. The thirds are the lines where your eyes like naturally go to. So a lot of filmmakers have like really like great cinematography, like great shots they make just by following those rule, rules of thirds. And it just looks really nice on the eyes. All right, mm -hmm. awesome. Well, you've not learned a little bit now about filmmaking. I know I have. Now, but we want to give you the announcement that where to be, folks, and when to be there. We're talking about the 14th annual UC David Film Festival. And it's going to be taking place May 21 and 22nd at 10 p.m. Folks, you want to definitely come out. I mean, just like uh, Anna was telling us, this is a community event. It's not just a UC Davis event. So that's why we want to get the whole community to come out and get ready to watch films. Films that are done by creative geniuses, the next set of people that are going to be big, the big movies that you are. How exciting it will be a few years from now. You can say, hey, I saw that guy when he <laughs> did this movie at the uh, UC Davis Film Festival. So we definitely want to encourage you to come out and, and enjoy it and share it. Bring your children, bring everybody, and turn it into a party and stuff like that. But let me come back to you, David. Historian, right? So, you know, history is good, always in the back, but what do you like to see moving forward? You know? Well, I always like to see the film festival growing more and more. You know, we'd love to have, you know, any major submit a film maybe about you know, uh, medical practices or something, anything that's interesting and that they actually believe in, you know. Yeah. It's all in the filmmaker's heart. If they think that their film is good, then, you know, by all means, go all the way and try and get it at the film festival. Fantastic. So, how many films are we expecting? Usually we, you know, the film festival generates around 60 to 80 films. Wow, that's a lot of films. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, and is that categories different? Breakdown of different category of the films, or are they all just put together in one bucket? Well, um, usually the categories are decided upon okay. after the judges review the films because you could make a documentary, mm -hmm. and then suddenly it it could be the best experimental film because you tried something new. Right. So they're not set in stone, and the students can submit any film they like. Okay. It's just after the submission process that it's decided upon that this is going to win this award and that award for this film. Got you. Is there any length restriction, the length of the film? Yeah. Um, okay. we're, we tell students to keep their films within eight minutes. Okay. Um, that's really all there is to it. The only other guideline is that they don't use copyright music. Right. Mm -hmm. Originality is mm -hmm. encouraged. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And how are you working to get the community? I know that's what we are doing here, definitely inviting the community to come out. What right. else are you doing to get the community involved? Yeah, our wonderful um, publicity manager right now, Aisha, um, she's actually working really hard with the social media because um, students are always about social media. We're always trying to get more people involved. Um, we also have the promotional video that we just saw um, that Kacho made, and he is he, we were able to kind of send that out on Facebook, people were watching it, sharing it online. Uh, we asked Aggie TV to share it online for us. Um, so we we're trying to get the word out there through social media, um, but also through flyering, through soon we will have ticket sales. Um, so that's another way we'll be tabling um, on the campus so that people can know more about our event. That's fantastic. Well, folks, you're listening to us uh, in the studio, and we're talking about 
the 14th annual UC Davis Film Festival. Now, mark your calendar for May 21 and 22, because 60 films, that's a lot of films. I mean, but it's gonna be fun, especially when it's eight minutes or so, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And you're gonna see different variety of films, and you never know, you know, one of the filmmakers might become the big filmmaker that we see in a big studio, you know, years from now. So support them, come out, and definitely make it fun thing, you know. Now, the technical part a little bit, because that's all what will always scare people. Mm -hmm. You know, if, I, if I'm hearing this now for the first time, and I'm thinking, golly, you know, what can I submit? You know, mm -hmm. when you were first starting, where did you start from? Where would be a good way to start? Where did I start from? Yeah, yeah. Well, how would you encourage somebody to start if they really want to do this? Um, really just grab a camera and shoot anything. My first time ever like making a video was making um, small promotional videos for the flea market. And that was just kind of like, hey, can I do this for you? Uh, and then I just borrowed a camera. It was like DV tapes. It was really old school. Well, not too old school. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean? You just kind of went out there and did it. And I enjoyed myself. And I made something that I was you know, kind of proud of. I was like, OK, I can keep going with this. And that's something I want like, other students to do, do. I want them to like, have, make something, throw it up on the big screen. And then most importantly, I, I think it would be surprising for them to see how everyone else reacts to it. Right. Because it, I don't think anyone's ever going to boo at the screen. Everyone's going to be like supportive of what other people make. So it's going to be really empowering for any student to throw something up on the screen and have other people look at it. Yes, that is awesome. Now, you know, we go about the history a little bit. So 14 years ago, start with two people. Today now we have 60 movies, 60 films, excuse me, right? Well, um, to correct you on that, there's usually 60 to 80 submissions, oh, okay. but then there's only a, a, around 23 films that are chosen to be screened gotcha. at the varsity. Okay. So can you talk, share just a little bit about who wins and how does that part work? You know, what kind of in, in, you know, awarding that the festival give? Um, usually there's around five or six awards, okay. maybe more. Mm -hmm. But there's a faculty jury that's chosen to watch the films and then decide on what is the best film in each category they come up with. Got you. So then those filmmakers um, get an award. This year we're thinking about making some physical awards okay. to give out to the students. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's prizes. There's also door prizes for the night of the event. So people coming from the community can take their tickets mm -hmm. and put them into some brown bags to raffle off these different prizes that we've also accumulated from the community. Got you. So they're not only coming to enjoy movies, they could actually walk away with some goodies. Yeah. All right, that's awesome. Okay, so, and, and I still want to come back to you because uh, that's the whole purpose of this is getting the community engaged in yeah. this thing. And uh, you've already mentioned Facebook. Yes. Okay, so there is a Facebook for this? Yeah. Okay, cool. So people can go to UC Davis? Um, so it's facebook.com slash UC Davis Film Festival oh. on Facebook, yeah. Okay, so UC Davis Film Festival. Yes. All right. And I actually visited that. Some good stuff I need. Yeah. And I also want to encourage students, the community, go to that Facebook, like their Facebook page, <laughs> because that always helps, you know, and make some comment, you know, maybe comment from any of what you hear du during this uh, interview session to any of our producers, you know, I'm sure they will respond, mm -hmm. you know, and get the community engaged. Yes, in um, we actually really love to interact with the students and um, not only getting the word out there, but encouraging other students to try filmmaking, try to increase their artistic, you know, level, try something new, basically. And just as Adrian was saying. Um, it's really, it's really an exciting um, art form, and we really want to encourage students um, that there is a venue out there at UC Davis um, for people to encourage filmmaking, encourage each other, and to participate in an exciting event for their future. Absolutely, and one of the things that I understand about just participating in activities like this, just the submission alone. That's already something to be proud of. Yes. You know, and, and so if you are a filmmaker and maybe you just pick up uh, your camera and you're shooting, the fact that you've submitted to a festival, that's part of your resume already. <laughs> you know, and I know sometimes people might hesitate because they feel like, oh, what if I don't win? Right. That's a whole different 
process. But the fact that you submit, mm -hmm. that's already make you a winner. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, you pick up a video and you started. So now, there are classes though. The, the, this department for film in this UC Davis, yeah. that's maybe the public, they are thinking about this. Is there? Oh, well, there's... You can touch on that. Yeah, there is uh, the film studies, which mostly just deals with film theory. Um, like the rule of thirds or like the 180 degree rule. Mm -hmm. But also there's the technocultural studies, which is a new major, just about 13, 14 years. Um, it's about 13, 14 years old. Um, it deals more with hands-on filmmaking, and that's kind of where we'll, we'll expect to see most of our work, I would say. Um, just a lot from those classes from, from the TCS department. They, help, they have classes like document, uh, documentary production, they have classes like experimental digital cinema. It kind of it goes on and it's growing. That too. Mm -hmm. So again, so the bottom line is this, for those of you that want to take it to the next level, there are classes that allow you to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now is uh, the people who submit though can be from any department. Yes. Somebody can pick up the camera just like you said, mm -hmm. record something they think is fun, you know, put some time into it, you know, you're gonna submit it in a festival and you're ready to submit, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. I'm excited. I think, you know, I, I can't wait. I'm just, you know, like you, encouraging the community to come out. Yeah. Because the more community that comes out, the more reward it is for those who submit their show. And, uh, and then the more excitement it is for the next set of people. So if I understand correctly, you know, history again, those films that I show this time will be part of the film that's shown next year mm -hmm. during the movie time, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that way, would, would all 80 or all 60 be shown? Would it be the 23 that will be shown? Um, it'll either be the, the 23 that are screened at the varsity mm -hmm. or just the winners. Okay. Like the movie nights. Yes. What were the movies that were shown? Yeah, so those were all the winning films that the filmmakers submitted and we screened at the varsity last year. Um, actually, I was at the event last year and it was great to see um, more excited filmmakers come in, and they're all students. They're, you know, they're from different majors. Um, but when we had that event on campus, um, we we saw people rise up, and they want to create their own films. They're getting excited because they saw another student's film work, and they they know that they want to do something better or something um, even you know exciting. Um, so that was a great event for all of us. That is awesome. Now, Aggie TV, tell us a little bit about that and how it connects with the UC Davis Film Festival. Because yeah. that's where I kind of winding things down. <laughs> yeah, and um, just like we mentioned about the UC Davis departments, um, Aggie TV is actually part of the student government, um, one of the units that run on campus. And we're also just like the film festival, we're trying to encourage more of the media arts to come to UC Davis. Um, there's been a really growth in UC Davis and the majors that are offered here, like the Technocultural Studies major. Um, and Aggie TV is, a, is just a, another space for students to get more involved in film and television production, journalism, broadcast journalism. Um, and we love to just collaborate more with um, other students like us, um, like the UC Davis Film Festival crew. Um, who are all hardworking? They're all trying to aim for something higher than you know what they've experienced so far, um, and it's just a great experience overall. I've been involved um, in the uh, Aggie TV for four years um, of college, and um, now that I'm involved in UC Davis Film Festival, it's so rewarding and life-giving, um, especially you know now that I've just graduated as well. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. That is awesome. Well. I want to talk just a little more technical stuff as we kind of wind this down. But before I do that, though, I want the audience to know we have been talking about the 14th annual UC Davis Film Festival. And it's going to be taking place May 21 to the 22nd. It's going to be two days full of movie at 10 p.m. Folks, bring the whole family. You know, call some of your friends and hang out. Hey, go into the film and watch so many films especially from some creative people that are no restriction to this stuff. So come out and just enjoy this stuff. I think it'll be a lot of fun you know, for you. So again, I just pick up my video camera mm -hmm. and I start shooting. Mm -hmm. How much editing do I have to do? Um, how much you want to put into it? <laughs> yeah, really, um, like go all out, do what you need to do. Um, just as long as it's within eight minutes and as long as you don't use copyright music, we don't have many rules against you know, what you make. 
just just have fun. Just do it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, you know, and, and I think that's really what brings about creativity. You know, the more restriction you have, the more you hamper somebody's creativity. Mm -hmm. So they can, you know, some people can put in a few hours and some people can put in days, you know, mm -hmm. but submit something. That's what I would actually want to leave the show with is if you're out there and you've been thinking about filmmaking, here is an opportunity for you to submit something. You know, so you can add it to your resume and say, hey, I submitted a film at the 14th annual UC Davis Film Festival. Just do that. And then, and, uh, and what I want to kind of uh, wind down is, what would you want people to leave away from this conversation we're having now? And I'm going to start with you, and then we go you and you as we kind of wind down. OK, so what they should leave with yeah, from, what, the, yeah. from the festival? Yes. Um, some inspiration, some kind of like knowledge that there is a community here and that it's growing and it's becoming stronger. That is awesome. Yeah. All right. And Anna? I think it's just to support the student filmmaking community and, you know, as I mentioned, UC Davis has not been really well known for film and as itself the artwork of film. Um, and I think after this conversation, I'd really love to see Davis community gather around the UC Davis Film Festival and support the student filmmakers as they increase their skills, as they adventure into experimental, um, just just kind of participating in this excitement itself. Fantastic. You got about 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Um, I definitely want them to come and see the quality of work, and I'm sure they'll be amazed to say, wow, a UC Davis student produced that. Awesome. And, you know, lots of the students produce, direct, edit, and do all the work for their own films. Yes. Um, but it's just a great event where the, the community can interact with students. Awesome. Andre, Anna, and David, thank you so much for being here and enlightening us about this 14th annual UC Davis Film Festival. You. You've been watching the In the Studio special episode of the 14th annual UC Davis Film Festival. My name is Edwin Edebury, your host for this evening. Thank you so much for taking the time and joining us.